Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I built this set of aluminum body panels to try and improve this old buggy. Those of you that watch this channel regularly know that I am currently building an insanely fast golf cart. But this video is about improving our older buggy, the side by side by side. Those of you that don't subscribe to this channel should do so right now so that you don't miss out on any of the details of these exciting builds. While the golf cart buggy will be fun for mom and dad, the boys still love this old buggy so it's time to make some improvements before this summer's riding season. The biggest complaint that the boys have about this buggy is that they get sandblasted whenever I turn. So our goal with this project is to keep some of the sand out of the boys' faces and improve the look of this buggy while we're at it. I purchased the front clip off of an older Honda Pioneer to see if I could graft it onto the front of our buggy. Then, I picked up a couple sheets of chloroplast that happened to match the Honda Red pretty well. My goal was to mock up something that could tie the Pioneer front end onto the front of this buggy. I tried several different designs, but trying to utilize the red Honda panels just made the front end too tall for the boys to even see over. The design I finally settled on used only the Honda Pioneer grill and none of the red panels at all. With a design nailed down, it was time to hit the CAD station again. These panels turned out to be quite large, larger than my little CNC plasma table could handle, so I decided to pay to have these panels laser cut. Once the panels were cut out, I needed to figure out where I would bend the panels, and what order I could bend them in. Lucky for me, my work has a few of these large press brakes, and the boss man is crazy enough to let me have a key to the place. So I snuck in on a Sunday and bent up these panels when nobody was around. I propped the panels up on the shop floor so I could get a good look at them. Sitting on the floor by themselves, they reminded me of a mini jet boat or something along those lines. The next step was to bring them home and see how they fit. It's quite satisfying when things turn out even better than you had planned. I am impressed with how well these panels actually fit. Of course, the real test is what do the boys think. Well, what do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to get these panels mounted permanently and see how well they do at keeping sand out of the boys' faces. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, until next time, stay active and have fun.